Long-suffering Galaxy Note 8 owners, your Android Oreo update is about to arrive. If you bought Samsung's most expensive phone of 2017, you could be forgiven for feeling left out as the Galaxy S9 launches and the S8 gets its own Oreo update. But very soon, the Note is going to be right up to date with the very latest Samsung Experience 9. Let's take a look at what's new. The look and feel of Samsung software hasn't changed a whole lot from Android 7.1. The settings app has been given a minor facelift to bring it in line with the Galaxy S9, but most other Samsung apps are largely unchanged. The technical underpinnings have changed a lot in Oreo, but the visuals are very familiar. Like the Galaxy S8 on Oreo, the Note with this latest update feels noticeably snappier. The biggest place you'll notice this is in Bixby Home, which is noticeably less stuttery when loading from the home screen launcher. Hardly praiseworthy, and still Bixby isn't entirely lag free, but some improvement is better than nothing. Anyway, the Note 8 was never a slow phone, but the Oreo update does seem to provide an extra jolt of performance. And you get all the standard Android 8.0 features that some other phones have been getting used to since August. New, more colourful music player controls in the notification shade, more control over which notifications you see, with notification channel support in apps designed for Oreo, easier password management thanks to autofill with Google, which saves passwords and syncs them to Chrome, and picture-in-picture -picture mode in some apps, which works fine alongside Samsung's existing multi-window and pop-up window features. One small note though, Netflix picture-in-picture -picture requires Android 8.1, so you're out of luck for that on the Note 8 because this firmware is based on the older Oreo, Android 8.0. Anyway, check out Android 8.0 review for more on the baseline features that come as standard in Oreo. The rest of Samsung Experience 9 is all about bringing the Note up to date with many of the features shipping in the Galaxy S9. Full support for app badges in the launcher allow you to see how many notifications are waiting for each app, and even view them in the long press menu if you enable this in the settings. Another small but important change in the launcher, Samsung now uses Oreo's built-in support for icon frames, so the squircle cutout that Samsung uses no longer looks weird with many third-party apps. There are a bunch of changes to edge lighting too, which is now more customizable than ever. You can choose different colours, sizes and illumination patterns and just go completely wild with the way the phone alerts you to messages from some apps. Helpfully, you can also tie the colour of the edge lighting to the app's icon now to make things a bit more organised. There are a ton of new customization options for the always-on display and the lock screen as well, which you'll be familiar with if you've used an S8 on Oreo. The always-on display has new clock faces with optional colours, and many of these can be applied to the clock on the lock screen as well. If you find the clock looks a bit different to what you're used to on Nougat, then that's because it now pulls the colour from your wallpaper by default. You can change or disable this in the settings. The Oreo update also gives you a lot more control over the way notifications appear on your lock screen. As well as controlling which apps show up on the lock screen, you can change the transparency of notification cards and automatically invert the text colour for darker backgrounds. Chances are you'll probably never touch any of this stuff, but it's great that the option's there for those that want it. So the Oreo update, broadly speaking, brings your Galaxy Note 8 up to date with the look and feel of the Galaxy S9. You'll miss out on some much-hyped S9 features like Intelligent Scan, using both Iris and Face Unlock simultaneously, and quirkier features like AR Emoji. Other than that, this update brings the Note 8 right in line with Samsung's 2018 Android experience. As you'd hope and expect from a $900 phone that's still only 6 months old, there's still plenty of life in this device yet. As we're publishing this video, the Note 8 Oreo update is only available in France, although other countries and carriers should follow quickly in the coming weeks. Share your thoughts on the Note 8 Oreo update down in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss our future Note 8 and eventually Note 9 coverage. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.